All right then, gang. So the next thing I want to talk about is functions in SAS. And functions are kind of like mixins, but they're very different as well. Whereas a mixin will give us a load of different properties or group them together and also taking arguments for those properties. A function instead will return normally a single value. It might take in an argument, it might do some manipulation with that. And at the end, it returns a single value, which we can sometimes use for properties. So this is a function, right? This is a built-in function, this lighting function in SAS. And what that does is take in some arguments and returns to us a value which we use for the background color. So what we're essentially going to do is create a new function, a custom function like this, that takes in maybe an argument, or it might not need to take in an argument, and then returns a value. Now to demonstrate this, I'm going to create another variant of our button. So we have the normal buttons for each of the different colors, which is button hyphen primary or secondary, etc. Then we have the outlined variant. Now we're going to create a third one, which I'm going to paste in called button complement hyphen whatever the key is. So primary, secondary, etc. Now we're still including the button mixing and passing in the value as the color. So it's still going to do exactly the same as this so far. However, this time what we're going to do is override the color of the button. So we're going to have a color property right here. And to do this, we want to create a function which is going to get us a complementary color to whatever we use right here. So if it's primary, we're going to get a complementary color for that. So to do this, let's create a functions file inside the Shinobi folder. So underscore functions.scss. Okay then. So to create a function, we say at function, then we give it a name. I'm going to call it light hyphen comp. So it's a complementary color, which we're also going to lighten. And inside this function, we're going to take in an argument, which is going to be a color. So we could pass in the color primary, for example, and it's going to find us the complementary color for that color and also lighten it once we have it. So inside here, I'm going to create, first of all, a variable. And we can do that inside functions. We can just create variables for inside this function. And this is going to be called complement. Now, to get this complementary color, first of all, we are just going to use a built-in function in SAS, which is called complement. And we can pass in the color. So it gets us the complementary color for whatever we pass in right here. The second thing we want to do is lighten that. So I'll create another variable, which is called light and then complement like that. And I'm going to set that equal to, oops, I think this is spelled complement, not complement. I'm going to set that equal to another built in function, lighten, but pass in this value right here, the complementary color. So now we're doing two things with our value that we pass in. And then at the end, all I'm going to do is return. So that's at return to return a value. And it's going to be this variable right here, the light complement. Okay. And that's all there is to it. So we've taken in a color. We've done a little bit of manipulation and it could be more complex than this. I didn't want to do something too complex because I just want to demonstrate how we use these functions and return the values at the end of it. So it takes in that, does some manipulation, and then returns a value at the end. So now I could, first of all, include the functions at the top over here. I'm going to say at import, and it's the functions file we want. I'm going to save that. And then inside this button component, for the color of this complement button, I'm going to call that function. So all I need to do is say light hyphen comp, which is the name of the function, and we can use it, remember, because the button component inside the index is imported after the functions so we can use it inside the buttons file we're going to pass in the value which is the color so that could be the primary color or purple or red or something else in our color map all right then i also want to give this a background color on hover so i'm going to say background hyphen color and again we're going to call that function and we'll say light hyphen comp and pass in the val. So when we hover over this, the background color is going to change to this. To begin with, just the color of the text is this. All right, so let's save that and head over to our index file so that we can use this new variant of the button inside the template. So if we scroll down to the bottom of the buttons, I'm going to paste in two more. So two anchor tags. 
The first one has a class of button hyphen complement hyphen purple. So it's going to run the function for this purple color and find a complementary color for that. And the second one is button hyphen complement hyphen primary. So I'm going to save this now and then preview it in a browser. Now I can see those two buttons, but they don't seem to be working. So let me just go back and have a look at what's going on here. And we can see in the terminal that we get this error and it says, we need an amount basically for the light and function. We're not passing that in as a second argument. So we need to pass in how much we basically want to lighten this by in a percentage. So I'll say 30% and I'm going to save that. And then hopefully there's going to be no error. And now we can preview this in a browser and we can see these two buttons right here. So the text at the minute is the complementary color, which is also a bit lighter to the background. And when we hover over it, they switch around. Awesome. 